Welcome to the NatLab. Network address translation swaps your private addresses, IP addresses, from the inside of your local area network to public routable addresses on the internet. It's a vital skill for any Cisco engineer and you'll be expected to know how to configure NAT in the CCNA exam. In this example, you'll learn how to do a static network address translation. We have a very simple router topology here. We have a loopback interface on router A, which will simulate a local area network. Router A connects with a WAN connection to router B. And what we're going to do here is have the host on the LAN for router A become NATted. So a network address translation will take place and that will change to another address before it reaches router B. So we're going to log on to router A, go into enable mode and configure the IP addressing. We're following the same procedure as we did in the IP addressing lab. Remember that if we have a DCE cable plugged into our serial interface, we must put a clock rate to enable the clocking to be given to the other side of the connection. And this is one of the most important commands of the lab. We have to tell the router, which is the outside part of the NATed network, and which is the inside NATed part. So the serial interface is the outside part of the NAT network, and we'll find if any students do miss any commands off or make any mistakes, it's usually missing off the NAT commands. And we've configured an IP address on our loopback interface, which on a normal network would be our local area interface. And we're telling this interface it's part of the inside NAT network. And now on router B we'll configure a simple IP address on the serial interface. We're also going to add a static route telling router B that any traffic for any network will be going out via the serial interface. This is called a static route and we talk more about static routes in module 5. So now we need to configure a static route on router B so it understands how to get back to the inside network on router A. So the quick, quickest and easiest way to do this is by configuring a static route rather than adding routing protocols at this moment. The IP route command with 0.0.0.0 space 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and then we're going to tell the router which interface to leave by. This basically means any network with any subnet mask will go out via the serial interface.
We need to establish IP connectivity, i.e. router B can connect to router A. So we'll just issue a simple ping command to make sure that's working. We need to test the NATing is working now on router A. On router A we're just going to add another command, it's purely voluntary this one, it's just rector practice to get through the exam. We're going to allow Telnet access into router A. We're adding an enable secret password in case anyone would like to go into enable mode on the router. In order to establish how we want NAT to work on this router, we're going to tell it we want to make a static translation from the inside address to an outside address. And the outside address I've chosen is 10.0.0.1. Normally this would be a public routable address, but for the purposes of the lab, it's probably not a good idea to use IP addresses that are in use already on the internet. So we're going to just leave it as 10.0.0.1. We're going to turn on a NAT debug so we can see what is actually happening with our network address translation and the router is telling us that IP NAT debugging is now turned on. Next step is to perform something called an extended ping. So we type the word ping, press enter. We're going to tell the router what the target IP address is. And we're aiming to ping the serial on router B via the loopback address on router A. So the target is 192.168.1.2. We'll press enter and we want to go into extended commands. So we type yes at extended commands. And our source address or interface, we can either type loopback space zero or the actual IP address. I'm going to type loopback zero. We just press enter for the next outputs. We can see the pings worked and I'd expect to see our network address translation taking place. And this is the output of the NAT debug. We can see our source is 172.16.1.1 and it's been NATed to 10.0.0.1. The destination address is the serial on router B. And the zeros and the ones are just for our own information, so in case we want to carry out a debug on the NAT. And if we type the command show IP NAT translations, we can type show IP NAT trans and then hit the tab key and it would finish off spelling it for us. We can see our global address, inside global, is 10.0.0.1 and our inside local address is the 172.16.1.1. Thanks for watching and there's more labs just like this on howtonetwork.net.